I think a big part of how Tan and I stay healthy that we don't even really even think about at this point because it's just like a habit is we get such good sleep and we get a lot of sleep. Last night we got nine hours. We went to bed at 10 p.m., woke up at 7 a.m. We, we just get good sleep and it helps us stay energized. And we really prioritize our sleep and make sure that we have a good sleep environment with having like the right temperatures and sounds and all that stuff. So our sleep is really, really important for us. That's right. I'm off to the gym now. I should say though about my pre-workout, I'm not gonna drink it until probably like the last possible second before I walk into the gym because I watched or I listened to a podcast from the Huberman Lab where they said you should delay your caffeine intake to at least an hour and a half after you wake up, maybe two hours after you wake up because basically then you allow your body to naturally clear out the sleepy time hormones rather than relying on caffeine to just block them. And basically it, it helps prevent the afternoon crash. So I'm gonna wait to have my pre-workout which has a decent amount of caffeine in it um, until the last possible second because by the time I get to the gym, it'll be about 8.30 and that'll be about an hour and a half after I've woken up and that's good for me. Never had this guy before. I didn't get any of the filling, but you just got so you just got like a donut. Pretty much. <laughs> I got just a donut too. What's that? That's good. It's a basil eggs Benedict. There's the egg. Oh, you're dripping. Oh, hi. Got it. Mm -hmm. It's good though. It's so good. Oh, this second. one's warm. Oh. I think this is the strawberries and cream. Yeah. That's one of the best ones. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. We were just saying, their donuts always taste like what the flavor is described as without being too much or being artificial or anything like that. You know what I hope people appreciate in this video about our healthy lifestyle? Hmm. The balance. And that we're not like crazy, strict, like diet people. Like mm -mm. We're, we're doing a health vlog and we just went and got donuts. Yeah, but this is also the first time we've gotten donuts in like... Probably since our last vlog about donuts. Yeah. <laughs> like we have dessert most nights, you know? Mm -hmm. We're not gonna have donuts for breakfast very often, but every mm -hmm. once in a while we do. It just, we weren't really planning on that being in the vlog. Like that wasn't premeditated, it just kind of. <laughs> premeditated. It just kind of happened yesterday. We were like, we should go get donuts tomorrow. And, and it, it just, just happened that we were vlogging today. Yeah, and they just released their new seasonal flavors. That's why we wanted to go get donuts. Yeah, that's kind of what like triggered us. And I always think their summer flavors are the best. So I've been here in my office working for the last few hours and I'm starting to get hungry for lunch, but I still have just a few more things to finish up. So, and then make lunch. I'm gonna make uh, turkey burgers. Every once in a while, I'll also like pre-make a bunch of um, chicken breasts. So we just have like chicken already ready to go. So that lunch doesn't take too long. All right. Here I go coming. I can't ever stop. I'm a tour de force running. Get me to the top. I don't need an invitation. We don't actually have buns, so we're just gonna put um, our turkey burger patties on sourdough bread. We're gonna toast it up with a little bit of ghee. 
which I used to say that I did not like, but apparently I do like it now. <laughs> I don't like just like the normal taste of ghee, but when it's on bread and the bread is toasted, then it's okay. It's good. Yeah, yeah. But I don't like just like the taste or smell of it. It's 5.30, we'll probably have dinner in like an hour, but I'm just a little bit hungry and I haven't had as much protein today as I like to try to have because I had donuts for breakfast. So I literally just put a scoop of protein powder in some water and I'm just gonna sip on that, make sure I get enough protein today and it'll hold me over until actual dinner time. I could eat right now, but if I eat right now, then I'm gonna be hungry again at like bedtime and I hate doing that. Last night for dinner, Tay made a delicious taco bowl. So tonight we're just having leftover taco bowls. So it's chicken thighs, white rice, bell peppers that were sauteed, and refried beans. The chicken is green chili marinated chicken kind of thingy from Sprouts. And it's so good. I love every once in a while getting like the pre-paired or marinated or seasoned meats just to like change it up a little bit. It's delicious. I think I'm gonna get that again. Just gotta put on my sunscreen real quick because apparently taking, that didn't sound good, taking care of your skin I guess is important these days. Good to go. Let's do this thing. So, Shotzi's a little skinny, so we put a big dollop of peanut butter with hers, but they're eating. Because we increased her food. To almost a pound per meal, so two pounds a day. And Which she's, is half a pound more per day than she was eating. Right? Yes, and basically double what Mila eats. And she hasn't really gained weight at all. She's got the fastest metabolism ever, that girl. She doesn't have worms or anything. She's just got a really fast metabolism and she's getting older so she's not like able to retain weight as much as maybe she used to be. And, and she's super active. She's super active. Like even though we take the girls for a two mile walk, they're both walking two miles, but Shotzi's like, She's moving around a lot more. She's running farther, coming back. You can hear her in this video running back and forth around the kitchen while Mila's just standing Mila there. hasn't moved. So she's always needed a little bit more food even though they're pretty close in size. And then now that she's getting older and stuff, we just have to supplement a little bit. Also, in addition to the peanut butter and the raw meat, they get salmon oil, they get a joint supplement, and then they get goat's milk. And sometimes... And sometimes they get bone broth. Yeah, we like go back and forth between the two. So they're spoiled, basically. Spoiled girl. Spoiled girl. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. Raw meat, peanut butter, goat's milk, and salmon oil. My favorite. Nothing better. I am gonna make myself a little piece of toast. I don't really like eating in the morning. If I have like too big of a meal, it makes me feel sick to my stomach. But I'm running eight miles today and I don't like to do that on an empty stomach. I don't, <laughs> yeah, they didn't see ya. I, I snuck right on by. I feel like it's not the best for me. So I just have a little bit of peanut butter toast and then I sit for a while and I'll have some water with some electrolytes. I'm making her coffee. She's making me coffee. And I toast my bread in ghee. Sometimes I use regular butter, but I like ghee too. I, like, I think I like my bread toasted in ghee better. It's great. You should pitch that to them as their new slogan. Make ghee. You got a marketing idea for you. <laughs> 
Have a little bit of noon fruit punch before my run. Pop it in here, put it with some water, glub, 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 hydration. I don't always have a noon or like some sort of electrolyte before I run, but I feel like I'm gonna sweat a decent amount today, so I wanna have some. Also, I feel like I woke up super dehydrated. I woke up just like a little, like foggy almost. Um, I think it was probably from the three donuts and not enough water I had yesterday. And we also slept in a little bit. Yeah, we slept in, which. We slept until like 8, 8.30. My sleep score was really good. It was 84, which is the highest I've had all week. My second highest was 83. Got good REM sleep, good deep sleep. So yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll today. Hey Siri. Add a reminder to Johnson Groceries. Peanut butter. No, nope, it's still put on the to-do list. I was gonna make myself eggs, but then Tay's peanut butter and jelly toast looked really good, so I'm gonna make myself some peanut butter and jelly toast, and I'll save the eggs for like my post-run meal. We saw some potatoes too. Mm, potatoes. I'm glad I caught this on camera, because this is domestic abuse. <laughs> no, listen. Listen, let me I'll, do Listen, it for I'll you. get it, I got it, I oh, got it. Don't be in drama. You don't need to do it for me. <laughs> you said, there's, there's peanut butter in there. I don't know how you, did you gulp when I said, I'm gonna have peanut butter and jelly too? Were you no, like, oh to no. Be, to be honest, I forgot how little peanut butter I left, so I was like, oh yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I'll get it, but like. I was like, I might have some of the dog's peanut butter. <laughs> Don't. Have you been double dipping that spoon? With the raw meat? Yeah. I feel like I need a spoon to screw this out. Mila would love this peanut butter. Actually, Mila's gonna get this peanut butter jar once I'm all done with it. That's well, what we have to do is Shati gets it first. I press something again. Goodness gracious. People, this woman has broken the camera like three times in the last it's day. Shati gets the peanut butter jar first because Shati doesn't have attention to detail. So she gets the big stuff. And then Mila gets it second. And she gets all the little stuff that Shati missed. And she'll carry it around for the next two to three business <laughs> days. Go get those abs. <laughs> Just kidding. My abs are sore today. One mile, two miles, three miles, four miles, and I had to stop because uh, these guys are behind me. Five miles, six miles, done. All right, for second breakfast, I'm gonna do three eggs uh, two pieces of toast, toasted with some ghee, which for anyone who doesn't know, ghee is just clarified butter. I'm gonna put some salt and some Mike's Hot Honey on it, which is amazing, and a little bit of everything bagel seasoning. Then I'm gonna do uh, some coffee, and I'm going to mix, where's the, where's the mix? Hold on, let me get the, the mix for you. I'm gonna mix this creamy protein powder with oat milk. That is our new favorite thing, 20 grams of protein, so I'll get a little extra protein. I'm gonna mix that in with my coffee. And then also I have some tater tots that are in the air fryer that I'm gonna throw on my little breakfast sandwich. Napoleon, give me some of your tots. Uh-oh, catastrophe. We're basically out of coffee beans. <laughs> and my voice cracked. And these are just instant coffee, which I don't think Tay is gonna want. So I think I'm gonna have to just convince Tay to go to the coffee shop, but that shouldn't be too hard. Look at that, that is, that, that right there is a good sandwich. If you know us and it's Saturday, that means there's only one option for dinner, sushi. We got, 
One albacore lover roll, one hot night roll, two pieces of salmon sushi, we got the TNT roll, we got some tuna bites, we got a volcano roll, and we got two pieces of the yellowtail sushi. Yeah. Is that pretty equivalent to like what we normally get, would you say? So yeah, we, like usually, amount. we usually get like four rolls and four pieces of sushi. Let's see the goods. Ba bam That right there. Mm. How about some of uh, that right there? Mm -hmm. We should have eaten earlier. We are both so hungry. We're so hungry. But we ordered at like 6.15 and we normally order at like 5.15 or 5.30. Yeah, because we were like debating going out to dinner and then this one was doing her puzzle and I was just like watching YouTube and then all of a sudden we we're like, oh, it's six o'clock, let's order. And then so we were starving like 15 minutes later. It hit us so fast and hard. Yeah. And last but not least, a little bit of that. Mm. Mm hmm. Yo, I might. I could eat all this by myself tonight. Mm hmm. You know, I'm uh, around if you need me. So we just got home from High Tide and I got a breakfast burrito. Their breakfast burrito is in my top 10. It's number nine on my top 10 list, which is, that's a solid ranking because it's, I've tried a lot of breakfast burritos in my life. They changed their recipe a few months ago um, and that bumped it into the top 10. We got well, a, it bumped it down and then like back up. Yeah, it bumped it like out of the top 10 and then they've since refined the recipe and then now it's back it's so into the top good. 10. So it's gotten a lot better. There's a really good like chipotle mayo sauce. Is that what the sauce mm -hmm. is? That they give you that- They make in-house. That, that's a lot better. And so that, that helps, but some criteria, I wrote down some criteria. Let me pull out my criteria for what makes a good breakfast burrito. I got a mocha because I was craving a little DCT. What's DCT mean? Delicious coffee treat. And I already changed. <laughs> I was wearing a really cute outfit. It's a gloomy, gloomy Sunday and it's still kind of chilly out. So anyways, my list of what makes a good breakfast burrito. Not too greasy because oftentimes with breakfast burritos, they put a lot of like bacon or chorizo in it and it gets really greasy and gross. Or cheese. Or cheese, that too. Not cut in half. I don't get why people cut burritos in half. It makes the burrito fall apart. Don't cut a burrito in half. A good ratio of cheese to egg. Oftentimes they'll put way too much of one or the other. Too much cheese is just gross in a burrito. And if you put too much egg, you're essentially just eating egg wrapped in a tortilla so you don't have other flavors. It must have at least one other meat besides egg, preferably something pork-based like a chorizo or a bacon. That's my favorite. Some kind of spice, but not too strong. Some kind of sweetness, but not too strong. So spicy honey, that's always great in a breakfast burrito. And then some kind of potato. So like French fries, hash browns, tater tots, stuff like that in a breakfast burrito goes a long way. High Tide has some like, sauteed veggies or something yeah. that are really finely chopped, but mm -hmm. I think it adds like the tiniest bit of sweetness because I think yeah. it's like bell peppers. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to add sweetness without doing like honey or something uh, in a breakfast burrito is finely chopped bell peppers. But the problem though about bell peppers is oftentimes people, they don't chop them finely, they just chop them into the long strips and then you bite into the breakfast burrito and then you pull out like a bunch of strips of bell peppers, not ideal. What you have over there? Some sauerkraut. Sa it's sauerkraut. from the brand Cleveland Kraut. I get it at Sprouts. The roasted garlic is my favorite. It's just cabbage garlic, salt and pepper. So you're just eating straight up sauerkraut. Let's go for a gut. Got some leftover chicken from when I made tacos the other night or taco bowls and then some roasted potato. Not having any veggies with it because we don't have any already made veggies and I don't feel like cooking them when I didn't have to cook anything else. So, the other thing, which I don't think I've talked about. Oh, and I'm gonna put some bitchin' sauce on it, which is this. They have it at Target, Sprouts, Whole Foods, pretty much everywhere. They don't have it at Trader Joe's, but it's good. It's like a little almond dip. It's yummy to throw on stuff. But, what I was gonna say, go ahead. 
These are the vitamins I take every day. This is fish oil. I think this one's my multi. Um, I take magnesium at night. It's good for anxiety, muscle recovery, sleep, depending on the type of magnesium. There's a lot of different types. And then iron because I've always been borderline low and runners are also at like a higher risk for iron deficiency. So I take those. For my lunch, I made a little chicken sandwich with some lettuce and some bitchin as well. Now it's time for a little afternoon coffee. I'm not sure if she told you, but Tay is currently on a two mile shakeout run just to kind of get the lactic acid moving around a little bit. And then we were gonna take today as just like a total rest day where we wouldn't really probably do anything besides maybe take the dogs for a walk. But then Tay was like, hey, you wanna take a hot yoga class at the gym? Cause it's free. And I was like, Psh, yeah, of course, let's do it. So I've done plenty of yoga classes before, but I've never done hot yoga. So this will be a fun new experience. We're gonna go to our local gym and uh, give it a try. I just did my two mile run. Um, just to shake out the legs. My training plan called for three, but I figured since I'm also doing hot yoga, I don't need to do three and two is fine. And we're gonna go to yoga. I did yoga last week for the first time in forever. And it reminded me that I need to stretch more often and prioritize those recovery days a little bit more. And since our gym offers free yoga classes, there's really no excuses. But I invited Brock as my accountability partner. And it's hot yoga. Um, so that'll be. We're gonna get our sweat on. Out. Yeah, that too. Now we're on our way to Whole Foods because um, we just need dinner for tonight. We're going out of town tomorrow, so we don't wanna do like a whole grocery shopping thing. Just dinner for tonight. Yeah. Are, do you think you're gonna get hot bar or like get ingredients to make I don't a dinner? No. I'm gonna see what to I'm, I'm gonna see what they have at hot yeah, bar because if they have depends. like if they have like the the burrito bowl station open or if they have like some good pre made food then I'll just do that. Yeah. Whole Foods like rotates what ready made food that they offer so it definitely depends but this Whole Foods in Aliso Viejo has a pretty it's a big Whole Foods it has a good selection so we'll see. I got also a green juice. Um, mine has cucumber, celery, kale, lemon, spinach, dandelion, greens, and parsley. Mine's called lava because it's got strawberry and orange. And <laughs> you got like complete opposites. It's delicious. And then for dinner, I got two bowls of orange chicken with rice and veggies because one bowl just seemed kind of small. And I got some chicken breast, some steamed veggies, and some mac and cheese because I don't know if I've ever gone to the Whole Foods hot bar and never and not gotten mac and cheese. So when you get to serve your own little thing of mac and cheese. Just a little, a few bites. Mm, it's so good. Because restaurants don't offer like two bites of mac and cheese. No, it's always <laughs> like family style, <laughs> like for four people's worth. Mm -hmm. Can I try that? Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's delicious. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you have any questions and we have a really fun video coming next week. Next week is going to be really fun. I don't want to spoil it, but our family is growing by one. <laughs> Is that a good oh enough? God. Is that is that is, is that enough of a teaser? <laughs> <laughs>